Okay, ever feel like uh, you're carrying all the weight of your business? Like it's all on your shoulders? Like you're the only one who can keep everything from falling apart? Oh, yeah. That feeling, every founder knows it, that's for sure. Well, get ready to dive into Steve Simonson's Founder Foundation series because he's basically offering us this roadmap to escape that trap. And you sent over his intro video, so what's the big idea? Why should we listen to this guy? So imagine being able to just step away from the day-to-day -day chaos, knowing your team has got this. Like, that's the dream, right? That's what Simonson's selling. And this series gives us a peek into how he builds those powerhouse teams. Okay, so no more, like, frantic late-night scrambling because uh, Susan forgot to send that invoice. Okay, sign you <laughs> But seriously, this isn't, like, some vague self-help stuff, right? This is practical leadership training, and it's coming from a guy who's actually built and scaled successful businesses. Exactly. And he is so incredibly passionate about this idea of like building a strong team. It's the bedrock of his entire philosophy. He even calls this series a gift to founders. A gift, huh? <laughs> Sounds like my love language. But it makes sense, right? Like think about companies like Apple. They didn't become a tech giant because of one brilliant mind. It's a team effort. It's the Avengers assemble of the business world. And Simonson argues that having that killer team isn't just about, like, efficiency. It's about your own sanity and freedom as the founder. Okay, you had me at sanity. That feeling of, if I don't do it, it won't get done right. He's saying we're breaking free from that. It's a trap, though, isn't it? Thinking we're the only ones who can truly steer the ship. But that kind of thinking can be incredibly limiting. So how does he say we can break free from this? Is this just for solopreneurs? Or can those of us with a small team benefit? Honestly, I think it's for anyone that wants to step up their leadership game, anyone who wants to build a more self-sufficient business. So whether you are a one-person show right now or you've got a small team with big ambitions, this is about empowering others to lead. Which, let's be honest, can feel terrifying and exhilarating all at the same time. Absolutely, but it goes back to that idea of freedom and sanity. If you can't trust someone else to make a decision or to take ownership, you're going to be stuck in that cycle of overwhelm forever. Okay, so how do we escape that cycle? Where do we begin? Well, he really emphasizes the importance of systemic thinking, which I found really interesting. Okay, systemic thinking. That sounds a little bit like business school jargon. What does that actually mean for someone running a business day to day? He's basically urging us to look at our businesses, not as like a bunch of separate parts, but as this interconnected system. Like think of it like a well-oiled machine. Each cog and gear has to work together smoothly for the whole thing to function properly. So if my business is the machine, how does building a strong team translate into those cogs and gears working together? Yeah, so that's where his emphasis on articulating your vision comes in, right? It's not enough to just have a great product or service. Like, your team needs to be deeply aligned with the why behind your business, you know? It's like, um, what's that old saying? If you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Yeah. But it's more like, if your team doesn't know where you're going, you're going to have a really chaotic road trip. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When your team understands that bigger picture, the why behind their work every day, you start to see that real ownership, that accountability. Yeah, they're not just clocking in and clocking out. Right. They're invested. Yes. Invested in the shared success. And Simonson even points out that sharing your company's origin story, like, that can be really powerful in communicating that why. Hold on. The origin story. Like, back when I was, like mixing skincare products in my kitchen and testing them on unsuspecting friends. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That story, even if it feels a little, you know, silly or whatever it is now, it gets at the heart of why your company exists, right? It's about connecting your team to the human story behind the brand. So those late nights weren't for nothing after all. Yeah. But yeah, I see what you mean. It's about like reminding everyone why we started this journey in the first place. Yeah. Reigniting that passion. Yes, that shared sense of purpose, that feeling of being part of something bigger than yourself. It can be so motivating for a team. You can foster loyalty, inspire creativity. It's like those About Us pages on websites that actually yeah. make you tear up a little. <laughs> yes. It's about tapping into that emotional core. But, you know, Simonson's good. He doesn't leave us swimming in a sea of warm, fuzzy feelings. Yeah. He brings us back to the practical side of things. KPIs, mm -hmm. your strategic objectives. Okay, good, because I was about to drown in the warm fuzzies. Mm -hmm. So how does he tie those concrete elements, those KPIs, the strategic objectives, back to this idea of building a self-sufficient business? 
he's showing us that empowering your team isn't just this like vague notion. It's about establishing those clear goals, tracking the right metrics, creating systems that support individual and collective growth. So it's not enough to tell your team to go forth and be awesome. Right. You have to give them the tools. You got to give them the tools, the systems. The systems they need to succeed. Yeah, set yeah. them up for success. Simonson, he really emphasizes that importance of creating a system where everyone understands what they're working towards and how their contributions are impacting that bigger picture. Which I'm guessing makes those sometimes dreaded conversations about KPIs and performance reviews less scary. Exactly. It's not about like micromanaging or, you know, trying to get, it's about providing that clarity in that direction. And when everyone's on the same page and understands the game plan, they're way more likely to be engaged, to be motivated, to be empowered, to make decisions. So it sounds like what a lot of this boils down to trust, like yep. trusting your team to make the right decisions. And I guess trusting yourself to let go of some control. You hit the nail on the head. Simonson is essentially saying like, stop being the bottleneck. Yeah. He wants you to build a team that can handle the load so you can step back and focus on that strategic stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing the appeal here. Less time putting out fires, more time on that big picture. How do we actually get to that point? Well, remember how we were talking about uh, systemic thinking earlier? Yeah. yeah. He goes even deeper into that concept as that foundational element. Systemic thinking. Not just business school jargon, after all. Not at all. Simonson really argues that it's essential for any founder that wants to break free from that cycle of overwhelm. Okay, so systemic thinking is the key to unlocking this whole like founder freedom thing. But how do we actually like put that into practice? It still feels kind of abstract. Think of it like this. You're not just building a business, you're designing a system, right? Yeah, okay. And like any good system, it needs like clear inputs, processes, and outputs. And Simonson wants us to look at every single aspect of our business through that lens. So instead of just like reacting to whatever crisis comes up that day, we're thinking about how everything fits together from marketing to sales to customer service. Exactly. It's about identifying the patterns, the bottlenecks, the areas where things broke down because they weren't designed to work together seamlessly. I have a feeling this is where a lot of us entrepreneurs, yeah, you know, we might be dropping the ball a little bit. Yeah. Like we're so used to just like putting out fires, wearing all the hats yeah. that we don't take the time to step back and look at the bigger picture. It's so incredibly common though. But Simonson argues that this is why so many founders feel trapped and overwhelmed by their businesses. Mm. They're stuck in the weeds, right? They're just reacting to problems instead of preventing them. Okay, yeah. I'm starting to see the light here. Mm -hmm. So if we do shift our mindset to thinking more systematically, what kind of like practical changes can we actually implement? Well, remember how Simonson kept mentioning KPIs and strategic objectives? Those aren't just like buzzwords. They are crucial components of like a well-designed system. Right, because what gets measured gets managed. But how do we make sure those KPIs are actually like driving the right behavior mm -hmm. and not just like creating more busy work for everyone? That's where that, you know, clear vision and origin story comes back into play. Yeah. Your KPIs should be directly tied to your overall business goals and that why behind your work. So my origin story is all about like creating sustainable, locally sourced products. Yeah. My KPI should reflect that commitment. Yes, precisely. And then those KPIs become more than just like numbers on the screen, right? Yeah. They become those benchmarks that keep your team aligned, motivated, because they understand the deeper impact of their work. I love how this is all coming together. It's like Simonson is giving us the permission slip to stop doing things that don't ultimately like ladder up to our core values and our long-term vision. Exactly. And by establishing those clear systems, processes, and metrics, you're empowering your team to make decisions to take ownership without you having to hold their hand every step of the way. So to sum it all up, if we want to escape the, what is it, the founder hamster wheel? Yeah. We need to stop being the bottleneck. We need to start thinking systemically and we need to empower our teams. Simple message, but putting it into practice can be transformative, right? Yeah. And that's the real beauty of Simonson's approach. He doesn't just give us the what, he gives us the how. And you know, even this sneak peek into his Founder Foundation series has me thinking about my own business differently. It's a lot to unpack, but if you're listening and you're looking for strategies to build a stronger team, to create a more sustainable business, Simonson's approach is definitely worth checking out. Couldn't agree more. It's about taking that knowledge and putting it into action. So as you dive into the rest of Simonson's series, we'd love to hear from you. What systems in your business could maybe use an upgrade? Head over to our website or social media and let us know, because sometimes the key 
to unlocking those extraordinary results is just asking the right questions.